I'm going to hang my head in shame now. If you've ever wanted to install a GMRS base station antenna, today's your lucky day because you and I are going to learn together. My at-home GMRS base station antenna is currently this magnetic mount sitting on top of my mini split compressor. Today we're going to try to put a base station antenna up there with an NMO mount so that I can still use this antenna. This is what I'm using. I got this bracket, this antenna ground plane. It's got the NMO mount. I've got some coax. It is RG58. And I've got this polyphaser lightning arrestor that I'm going to uh, put in line. You see that little antenna up there? That's for a dispatch app that we use for the fire department. I'm gonna mount this right up there next to it. At least that's the plan. We'll take this little antenna down and get it out of the way. And in theory, I should be able to put this right up in its place. That's perfect. Should have brought a marker to mark the holes, but I'm gonna pre-drill some pilot holes. See what kind of meat we have here behind the flashing. We'll start with two screws on the bottom. I'm even gonna use a level so that we can call this an expert installation. Okay, perfect. We'll drill a couple more holes, put two more lags in and it'll be mounted. That should be good for what we're doing. Go ahead and put our 5 8 over 5 8 wave antenna on top. Okay, I can already see I'm wishing it was a little bit higher, but we'll make do. Now we're gonna take this wire. We're gonna run it down along this downspout for the gutter. Okay, here's the temporary permanent setup. We got the bracket, which I'm guessing it's gonna be all right. I'm not really in love with it, but it's gonna to have to work for now. We got the 5 8 over 5 8 on top. I moved this little antenna down here to the flashing for now. I'll make a little bracket to put it off to the side. I've got the coax running down along the backside. It goes down and it's going to run into this box. I'm hoping to be able to, I'm hoping to be able to keep this inside that box. Any lightning, I'm hoping it'll stop it here. Worst case is we're going to leave it right here. This is a polyphaser spike guard and it's not going to fit in my box. So I'm going to leave it just below. It'll be outside, but we'll tuck it up under there a little bit. We'll clean it up and tuck it up under there so it's kind of out of the weather. That should be fine. Okay, coax comes in from outside loops down here and then it terminates at my little base radio setup all right so there's the antenna it's up it should work fairly well uh, it's outside of the house so that is a plus it's not sitting down on a magnet mount on top of my mini split cables are routed somewhat decently and it goes into the house i've got the lightning protection on there i'll I'll clean all this up here. We'll get a ground cable run. I've got the ground wire. I just got to figure out where this is the best place to run it. So if anybody's done this before, I'd be interested to know how you grounded yours. All right, we've got the Surecom SWR meter hooked up and we're going to try 
channel 15. Let's see what our SWR is. Okay. <laughs> Not good. Okay, 2.46 SWR. Looks like we're putting out about 46.43 watts. So we've got to fix that. Okay, when I check the SWR, I've got a couple repeaters programmed into this radio, and when I check the SWR on duplex, you can see that uh, the SWR is down to 1.4, which I think is an okay SWR. 1.4 I think will work, and then if I try the other repeater, Again, it's 1.4. So I've got 1.4 SWR on duplex, but when I'm on simplex, I'm double that. Almost, almost double that. Back to the drawing board. All right, it's been a couple days since I had time to mess with the SWR. I'm gonna take that 5 8 over 5 8 antenna down. That's a dual band. That's tuned for dual band, UHF, VHF. So I know this one is tuned for GMRS. This is a Larson, and if my memory serves me correctly, this is like a 5.6 dB antenna or something like that. Anyway, I'm going to swap them out and see if the SWR comes down. Okay. It's kind of weird that the uh, SWR is so high on so high on simplex but then on duplex it's down where it really needs to be okay. all right let's go see what our SWR reading is now all right, we're on duplex right now, and we'll go ahead and key this up and see what we get. 2.5. We'll go down the simplex. Okay, our SWR is two or higher, and that's not good. So now i got to figure out what to check next. All right, it's been a couple more days and I'm not really sure what's going on with this SWR. We're gonna do some a few tests here and see if we can't figure this out once and for all. Today, we're up at 5.13. And that's with this little Midland radio. Now with this setup right now, I can actually hit a repeater that's about 40 miles away and it's receiving fantastic. So I don't know if this meter's messed up. I am going to take this radio outside, disconnect the lightning arrestor, and I'm going to connect it outside and see if the SWR changes. And that should have either tell me whether that lightning arrestor is an issue or not. And then if that's still the same deal, put a meter on the coax and see if it's maybe grounded in some fashion. So here we go. All right, so this coax right here is the one that goes down to the radio. This is the lightning arrestor. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this lightning arrestor off. I'm going to connect it to, connect it to here. I'll connect the radio to this. And now I'm going to power the radio using this EcoFlow. Okay, radio's on, channel 22, SWR meter's hooked up. We got everything powered by the EcoFlow, and we've got this cable goes up to that antenna. So let's see what we got SWR when we key it up on channel 22. 8.39. Okay, we definitely have an issue. So let me go get a meter. We'll see if we got a short in the coax. Okay, this is my sad face. Not really. Here's what I did. I got two antennas over there on a pie plate. One is the little quarter wave that came with it. The other one is a uh, tram quarter wave. You can see the difference in coax. 
SWR on all of these is all over the place. Right now I'm at 6.9. I've used a meter. I've used this multimeter to see if I had a bad coax. I was unable to find like a dead short or anything like that. I now have this, I have this little 15 watt radio hooked up through this meter and it goes all the way up to that antenna. The SWR is stupid. 6.9, but I can hit a repeater with a 15 watt radio that probably only puts out 14 or 13 or maybe even 12 watts, 35 to 40 miles away. I've got two repeaters that I can hit. I'm starting to think that this SWR meters maybe junk, I'm not sure. At this point, I'm dead in the water. I'm sitting outside on the ground testing my radio. I've reached the all-time low. Radios, gotta love them. <laughs> Thanks for watching.